I'm going to read you a letter from a solo mum who prefers to remain anonymous. I'm an educated single mum. After taking time out of my career to raise my two kids, I've been trying really hard to get back into the workforce. It hasn't been easy. I applied for lots of different jobs. On paper, I thought I was overqualified, but I found out that so were many of the other hundred or so people that also applied. I finally secured my first job and I was excited to be able to make the leap from being on sole parent support to working 20 hours a week. I was only $20 better off a week. I was therefore going to work to earn $1 more an hour. Leaving the benefit behind had other implications for me. For example, school holidays. I now had more than 10 weeks of care to find for my kids. If my kids or I get sick, I have to make arrangements for them to be cared for by someone else or take them to work or work from home. My ex-husband pays no child support. He works mainly for cash, which he doesn't declare. And therefore, IRD calculate that he's liable to pay only $18 a week. And he's managed to avoid paying even this. After paying all of my regular essential bills, I'm left with $170 a week for food, petrol, clothing, any medical costs, school fees, extracurricular activities, and other unexpected costs associated with running a house, a car, and two children. In my early years as an adult, I didn't tick any of the government's boxes in terms of being at risk of hardship or abuse. Yet I was trapped in an abusive relationship with a man who used the threat of not seeing my kids again to keep me there year after year. I've escaped living with him, but the psychological abuse continues towards me and my kids. He uses the threat of making us homeless to continue his patterns of power and control. I'm trying to secure my own mortgage to the property to keep my kids in their home. Although I've been paying the joint mortgage on my own for the last three years, banks I've approached have refused me despite the equity in the property being high and the repayment figures less than what I currently pay. They've told me that I simply don't earn enough money despite my being able to demonstrate that I've been servicing a mortgage with higher monthly repayments on my own for the last three years. The risk to the bank is low as the equity would be more than 30%. If I were forced to try and find a rental, I would be paying more than I do currently on a mortgage and the rental market offers no surety of tenure for me or my kids with housing conditions likely to get even worse. I am one of the growing number of single mums who find themselves caring for their children on their own, juggling the demands of work with the demands of our offspring in order to stay afloat. I've become proficient at this juggling act through necessity, not choice.